This is the easiest, fastest, and cheapest way I use to cast glass for pieces like this. You can use the plaster and silica technique for more complex forms, but they're pretty messy and they're very heavy. So I just go to the garden section of the hardware store and I pick out pots that don't have any cracks. And then I prep them so that I can cast chunks like this to glue to a stone. You can see here is a pre-fired section I'm going to glue on. And this piece is a finished version of one of those castings. So I start with taking a little duct tape and if they have those plastic labels you can burnish that tape on and then nicely peel off that label. If there's a paper label on it you might need to soak it for a day and scrub it. You gotta get this stuff off because anything that's on there that's organic will burn and smoke out the entire studio. The next step is to put kiln wash or shelf primer inside the pot so that the glass can release from the pot when it's done firing. Something else you want to look out for is the hole in the bottom of the pot. So I use this refractory blanket and I cut out a small little section and then I stuff it in the bottom of the pot and that stops the glass from flowing out. Before these go in the kiln with glass, I will dry them out at 500 degrees and then load them in the kiln with glass. There is a lot of moisture in that ceramic and you want to make sure that it's vented so it doesn't get on the elements of the kiln. So here is the glass all fired. You can tell there's kind of extra little bits and pieces. I was pretty sloppy in filling them up. And now I have these tiny cute little blanks. And if I'm totally honest, I should have put more kiln wash on. I was kind of being sloppy. but. I also subconsciously think I just wanted to break some stuff and these pots were pretty cheap. But if you do it right, they're reusable and they're awesome. 